the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O God, who restore human nature and yet greater the dignity that it is in its beginning. Look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth. May you persevere the gifts of all your enduring graces and blessings. Through your Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and his friends went by sea from Paphos to Perga and Pamphylia, where John left him to go back to Jerusalem. The others carried on from Perga till they reached Antioch in Pisidia. Here they went to a synagogue on the Sabbath and took their seats. After the lessons from the law and the prophets had been read, the presidents of the synagogue sent them a message. Brothers, if you would like to address some words of encouragement to the congregation, please do so. Paul stood up, held up a hand for silence, and began to speak. Men of Israel, and fearers of God, listen. The God of our nation, Israel, chose our ancestors and made our people great when they were living as foreigners in Egypt. Then, by divine power, he led them out and for about 40 years took care of them in the wilderness. When he had destroyed seven nations in Canaan, he put them in possession of their land for about 450 years. After this, he gave them judges down from the prophet Samuel. Then they demanded a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin. After 40 years, he deposed him and made David their king, of whom he approved in these words. I have selected David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will carry out my whole purpose. To keep his promise, God has raised up for Israel one of David's descendants, Jesus, as Saviour, whose coming was heralded by John when he proclaimed a baptism of repentance 
of the whole people of Israel. Before John ended his career, he said, I am not the one you imagine me to be. That one is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandals. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> Response to the psalm is Alleluia. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all the ages, my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of all this, I am sure that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. Alleluia. I have found David, my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. Response, Alleluia. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name his might shall exalt it. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me. Response, Alleluia. Gospel acclamation. Please stand. Alleluia. Yeah. Alleluia. 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 You, O Christ, are the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. You have loved us and have washed away our sins with your blood. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After he had washed the feet of his disciples, Jesus said to them, I tell you most solemnly, no servant is greater than his master, no messenger is greater than the man who sent him. Now you know this, happiness will be yours if you behave accordingly. I am not speaking about all of you. I know the ones I've chosen. What scripture says must be fulfilled. Someone who shares my table rebels against me. I tell you now, before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am he. I tell you most solemnly, whoever welcomes the one I send welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Right, our boys and girls, to please come forward with the prayer of the faithful. During the month of May, we remember the love and devotion of Mary, our mother. We ask for her guidance and assistance for the young people within our parish community. May Our Lady help to lead them as they follow in her footsteps, spreading her love and understanding for all in society. Lord, hear us.
Dear Lord, God, you sent your only Son, Jesus, to live among us and to die for us, to show how much you love every single person. May your love inspire us. Lord, hear us. Dear Lord, help us to follow you, making a fresh start each day, bringing happiness to others. Lord, hear us. Dear Lord, help us to be truly sorry when we have done wrong. Show us how to behave at home, in school, and at play in the way that follows your example of peace and love. Lord, hear us. We remember our dead and pray they enjoy the happiness of heaven. Lord, hear us. These are our prayers. We make them through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, above all, to laud you more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy every land and every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Noel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, but with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be coerced eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and form, by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
is off each other, a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us. We pray the fruits of the Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ending. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be careful one another as a father.